From the fabled early Firebird engines such as the Ram Air 3 and 4, to the 1972 455HO, to the 1973 and 4 Firebird Super Duty 455 engines, Pontiac has a proud history of building large and powerful power plants, but 1977 and 78 were the last years of Pontiac power and the 400 was the largest engine you could get in a Firebird. In this video I'm going to talk about the engine offerings for 77 and 78 as well as the hood scoop decals that told the world what was under the hood. One of the first things I look for on any 1977 and 78 special edition is the hood scoop decal. As you can see in this graphic, the only time you should see a 6.6 liter decal on the hood scoop is when the car is a 1977 special edition non W72 car. In 1978, Pontiac dropped the 6.6 liter decal on the special editions. If a 1978 SE has either the L80, 403 Oldsmobile or the standard L78 Pontiac 400, then it got no decal on the hood scoop. And the only time you should see a T, A6.6 decal, is if the car has the W72 engine. All other 77 and 78 special editions should have no hood scoop decal. Although out in the world today, almost all of them do, but they're incorrect. This goes for standard Trans Ams also. Of the three engines available on the 77 and 78 models, Probably the easiest engine to identify visually is the Oldsmobile 403 because it has this large oil filler tube right at the very front of the engine. The two Pontiac engines don't have that. The only visual difference between the two Pontiac engines are that the base model, the L78, has blue painted valve covers whereas the 400 high performance version, the W72, has the satin finish, chrome valve covers. And finally the air cleaner fresh air intake snorkel on the Olds 403 and on the base model Pontiac 400 L78 will be round and it'll be about 3 inches in diameter. In 1978, the air cleaner on the W72 engine was redesigned. It received a much larger 6 inches oval fresh air intake snorkel. 